Good morning, guys. It is officially day two of WrestleCon. I'm about to go back to my merch table, meet a ton more fans, vlog. So just keep up with everything. There's going to be a lot of stuff. I was walking the floor today at WrestleCon. I'm so happy that Selena is here. I feel like I've spoken with you so many times through socials. But we we've, have. We've never met. No, and but I'm happy, happy I met you right now. I'm so happy this happened. So I'm going around asking a bunch of the wrestlers some questions. And for you, I have to mention how fierce you always are. Whether it's your outfits, you look so stunning today, or the way you walk in into the ring with such conviction, you always have this fierceness about you. So has that always been the case? Or did that confidence kind of take a little bit to get there? It took a little time because I needed to be a little comfortable with all this. <laughs> no. I, I get that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really have it uh, my entire life. So I pretty much understood that I was pretty when I moved to the United States and everybody was like, oh, that's exotic, this is hot. And I'm like, oh, that's exotic? How Embrace about this? it. How about this? <laughs> <laughs> for, for me, it was one of those things where growing up, especially some of your tweets, and I, I relate to them a lot. Because growing up, I am like I was now. I was a little bit thicker, and I always got made fun of for that. And got to the point where I was People like, suck. screw it, embrace it. Like it's what makes yes. you different a lot of the time. And it's like you just one of those things you gotta roll with. Did you kind of feel that same thing? Or? I agree. I yeah. agree. And people can be really mean. Yeah. Like high school, I don't know. I'm not that old. I know you aren't either. So coming from school, we know what bullying is like. So oh yeah. It's not cool. Women should empower other women. I love that. I believe that. Well, I want to say thank you very much for not only inspiring me, but like tons of other chicks and guys out there. It's really cool to see what you're doing. So thank it's you for awesome. joining me. Thank you, everybody. Here once again with the legendary Mick Foley. What happened? Hey, you know, I give and give and give, and uh, sometimes uh, maybe I give a little too much. I mean, you were here at WrestleCon, so was it a fan? Did this accidentally uh, come a, and hit you? It's uh, an absolutely legitimate barbed wire bat. It's and uh, that you put that po po Posing with it, and uh, I guess uh, skin was... Uh, Skin was ruptured, uh, blood was spilled, and I kept on signing. Well, I'm gonna let you clean that up now because you've had that on your face. This for was quite some the time. Hell in a Cell of signing performances. <laughs> 21 years later, right? The most gutsy signing performance ever. They're like, "You want to stop? You want to see a doctor?" I'm like, "No, I want to keep going." I'm gonna carry on. They're like, "Because you care that much about your fans," and I said, "I'd like to make some more money." <laughs> well, I want to say thank you so much to this champ for joining me. All right, bye, cheaper. Alicia. Bye. bye. Joey Ryan, everybody, I have to say, penis party, epic. How's it feel that it's now done with? There's a lot of prep going into that. Yeah, you know, it was, it was, it was really cool. I think the coolest part about it was, uh, you know, when we announced it for Friday, we had assumed NXT was going to be Saturday like it normally is, but then NXT announced Friday. We thought we were going to take a real, real big hit on tickets. Plus, we were already up against Janelle's spring break uh, night one. Um, which sold out. Uh, and we came real close to us all. We had a couple, a couple thousand people in it there, which is, packed. which was crazy because we thought, we thought for sure we we're gonna take a big hit with NXT, but people still showed up yeah. for the penis party. That's amazing. Last thing I want to ask you, what is the best flavored blow pop? I like blue raspberry because it's rare and, oh, okay. I, and I rarely get it. But my go-to's would be like watermelon or maybe strawberry because uh, they're in the, the variety pack that I normally get. But every now and then I get to treat myself to, to, the, to the odd flavors. Okay. But sour apple is definitely the worst. Oh, it's the worst one? The worst. Okay, so I'll stay away from that yeah. one? Okay. Avoid sour apple. Definitely. Sour apple is always the one that I give my opponents because I don't want it. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. That's clever. You just, is that like M&M you don't like in the bag? You just yeah, throw it right, away. right. <laughs> well, I want to say thank you for joining me on the vlog. Once again, it's always a pleasure. Thank you. Bye. Here having an amazing time at WrestleCon with the legendary DDP. Hello. Well, you know, I'm glad to be here, and this has been like a this God, I've been here coming here for since it first started. Oh my gosh. And not only do we have such a great turnout for all the people coming and wanting you know autographs, and you know, it, it's not just that for me. I get to talk about DDP yoga and all these amazing transformations. I had people, you know, come up to me they're crying. They were so excited to see what you know what they've achieved with their goals. They wanted to share them with me. And what's really cool is I just started doing DDP yoga workshops here at WrestleCon. And last I night, I saw one. It was packed. 140 people. It's insane. We're actually working <laughs> out with me, and so uh, that was pretty cool. And then Mike, who runs this whole thing, he uh, came over. He goes, "Hey, bro." He goes, "We walked David Arquette to the ring." <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "If you can work it into when I'm finished with my show." Yeah. And as soon as we finished, he was like, "Dude, he's getting ready." I go, "All right, come on." Yeah, let's Walked do it. over, and here's Arquette. 20 years later from doing Ready to Rumble, wow. 
and now I'm walking into the ring. And I'll tell you what, anybody who's you know got a you know bit of a don't like David Arquette because he was the world champ. That was never his doing. That was booking for WCW at the time. And bottom line is, he's created a documentary, and it the fans have really, really come to. To really, they appreciate him. I think like, they see his side of it now, and he genuinely loves wrestling. Like he's a huge fan. So. Big, big. Yeah. And Thatcher, you know, beat the hell out of him out there. Gave him a couple hope spots, and at the end, you know, David did the job. Mm -hmm. But afterwards, when Thatcher got out of the ring, all the crowd got up and gave him like a standing ovation. Amazing. Which was super cool. And that just—that's what our business is about. You know, it's—it's it's not about ripping people down. It's about building people up and. Well, what we have here at, at WrestleCon, there's so many of the greats from all different eras, and uh, people get to get to get a little one-on-one -on -one time with them. Well, I'm glad to hear that your time at WrestleCon has been, I'd say, pretty fantastic. No, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining me. It is such a pleasure every time I get to see you. And uh, congratulations on the stuff you're doing with AEW. Thank you. Saw that coming up, <laughs> double or nothing. Double or nothing, May 25th, guys. You're going to want to be there. See ya. <laughs> Double We're vlogging double. again, double vlogging again. What's up? See that? See that? Mm, this is a lovely beautiful. thing. It's How are you? Fantastical. Fantastical. You've been busy. I have been busy. Very busy. But you've been very busy too. I've been very busy. So that's a good thing. Busy's good. Busy's good. Busy's good. Con yeah. Very good. See, look at that. Oh I got my, my lovely girlfriend over here. Yeah, this is Leslie over Hi, here. Leslie. Going here. Leslie here. The vlog and the vlog and the vlog. Vlog and the vlog. We said last time vlogception. People really like that. Do they? Yeah, yeah. Then vlogception. There's some hashtags. Uh, did you get a lot of good uh, interviews this time? Yeah, it was actually pretty intense. I've just been walking the floor, picking some people, picking their brains, meeting people, just getting some photo ops too, which was fun. So, yeah, how about you? I saw you were, it's mainly just you're seeing tons of friends this weekend. I am seeing so many people that are, like, I haven't seen in forever, so it's awesome. I, I love seeing everybody, like, like Alicia. Like him. Like my boo Sabu. There's Sabu. Like him. <laughs> like my boy Peter here. Did Sabu your boo? <laughs> I did. You did. <laughs> I you did. did. I wonder if he'd appreciate that. Do you think he'd do We can ask, we can ask him, but we, we'll leave it to the internet. Yeah, that might be. We'll leave it to the internet. We'll leave it to the internet. 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 Would 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 you call Boo Sabu or Boo? I wouldn't. I wouldn't cross I wouldn't cross that line. My bad. I did, but it's yeah. happening. <laughs> it's happening. This is wrestling. This is live TV. We are live right now. But I just want to say everybody should go hang out with Alicia at where do they find your stuff at? Ooh, you guys can find me at Alicia at two. And I think everyone should hang out with Marty. Where can they find you? At MartinSales.com. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like OMG. Go check it out. <laughs> Go check it out. It's like totally it. awesome. Uh, yeah. Do you have shows tonight? What are you doing tonight? Ooh, okay. So tonight I'm maybe heading over to ROH. And Ooh. tomorrow morning I'm hosting the Bullet Club Block Party. Ooh. Ooh, New Japan Pro Wrestling. So that's going to be really cool. I'm doing some live interviews. Jimmy Seafood's going to be there. Oh, okay. They're catering. I've never had it, but like for some reason it's this big phenomenon in wrestling. It is. I've, I've never, you I've never, had no, no, I've it's never had it. It's supposed to be so good, so I'm excited. I like food. It's I good. love food. In fact, that's what I'm going to do next, is food. Okay, actually, but, Sabu just bought me food. What did he buy you? I think it's this, this garden salad, actually. Oh, that's so lovely. I did, yeah. So, see, that's why I said boo. It makes sense now. It makes sense now. It makes now. sense now. Well, I'm going to let you eat your garden salad from your boo, Sabu. And I just want to say thanks for hanging. And bye to you guys. And bye, bye to, to you guys. guys. And bye to you guys. You rock. All of you. All bye. of you. So I have been signing this morning. This is someone who came over to my table, the lovely Lee, and he has one of the coolest shirts I've seen. Can you just tell me a Thank little you. bit about this? Yeah, well, it's, it's done by a, a British designer. I've come from the UK for this, and it's a, a, a homage to uh, classic 80s characters. With another amazing guest right now, the lovely Francis. Hello. 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 How, How are, are you? I'm doing really well. How is, are this, you? is this your first WrestleCon? Oh, this is actually my first ever WrestleCon in general. Are you loving it? I'm so excited about it. And I'm so excited for you. Thank Congratulations. you. Thank you so awesome. much. Awesome. Things going all right for you. I've seen some lines here. Like, it's been great. It's been very, very good. New York loves EC Dub, thank God. So we're doing good. Yeah. <laughs> you had any EC Dub chance as you walked by? Yes, I have. No crack or chance yet, but I've had some ECW chance. So that's People still don't. Or that's what that has to be. They do. They do, and I love it. I love wow. it. It's part, it's part of me. So that's they, crazy. They say it with love, but it's all good. They <laughs> say it with love. It's all good. I just have to say, I love how bubbly you always are. I mean, I'm standing beside you, and all I hear is like when you talk, you have this tone in your voice, like you're just you're loving every moment of it, and it's so genuine. Uh, I appreciate that. I do enjoy um, being here with the fans. Like it's it's so much fun.
fun for me. When you're performing, you don't get the connection that you do at these signings. So it's it's just so nice to come and relive old memories and talk to people. I, I just enjoy these things. And do you find you see a lot of the same people coming through, like very familiar faces, people you've met before? Yeah, like, I, some, well, for WrestleCon, most of the people come back every year, you know, but you do get to see some faces. I'm matching faces with Twitter. <laughs> So I'm meeting a lot of my Twitter followers. I'm doing which is, that too. Yeah, it's great. It's it's just so nice to meet everybody. Everybody's so happy to be here, and it's nice to be wanted. It's so a good time. I'm happy about it. Yeah. I like yeah. how Daphne's over here too. Hey, Daph. Oh, she's drinking. She's, it's water. It's water. I swear, it's water. water. It's so much talking. It's yes. a lot of talking. And how many times have been asked to scream? And this is what they get. Because it's gone. She's a, ba it's a baby. Gone. Baby scream. Yes. But yeah, it's all good. We're, we're having a great time here, and, and I'm loving it. Amazing. Well, thank you for joining me on here. It's so thank lovely so finally much. seeing you. Thank you. So thank you. Thank you. You can be. You can be in it. Hello, hello. Here with the always super fun Blue Meanie, who has something very exciting to tell all of you. What is it? Yeah, actually, uh, as of today, it's been announced that uh, the Blue Meanie will be a part of the Retromania wrestling oh. video game. It's uh, loosely based off the old uh, uh, WrestleFest arcade game that's inspired by 2D graphics. Uh, so far, uh, we got the BWO, we got the Road Wars, we got Tommy Dreamer, uh, we got Zack Sabre Jr. Uh, and many more names to be announced soon. Uh, and it's at least released. I've been talking all day. I lost. We it. both have. We're just some like, words just come out that I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Uh, some more names to be released soon. Or released in the early 2020. Uh, but if you go to Retro Soft Studios on Instagram and Retro Soft Studio on Twitter. Uh, if you enter, if you just follow me, you'll be entered into a contest to win autographed BWO shirt and some cool signed products like a BWO, best BWO DVD, Blu-ray, all that good stuff. But uh, I'm just saying words. But um, <laughs> if you're kind, if you're a gamer, game nerd like me, video games, all that good stuff, you like the old school retro look. Boom! Check it out, guys. Tommy Dreamer's House of Hardcore's in there, so uh, check it out and. Uh, Thank you guys. <laughs> now, Sabu, you are known for being absolutely crazy in the ring, one of the most intense wrestlers I've ever seen. So for you, when you think about some of those hard-fought battles, what is one of the worst bumps, cut, bruises that you have taken because of the square circle? None of them to brag about. None of them to brag about? Oh, so you're, you're that tough. None of them really come to mind. Okay. Well, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. I seriously appreciate your time. Thank you. Hey guys, back at the hotel, and if you can't tell by the look on my face, I am tired. WrestleCon has kicked my ass, and then these late night shows, it has been crazy. Anyways, that's it for today's vlog. I hope you loved it. So far, I've put up my first day here in New York. Check out that vlog in the description below. I also posted WrestleCon Day 1 vlog. Check that out in the description below. This is WrestleCon Day 2 vlog, and then the next vlog I'm going to be posting is from what I'll be hosting tomorrow, the Bullet Club Block Party. It's going to be knock and futz. I can't wait, so stay tuned for that one, guys. I'm so excited to hang with the Bullet Club. Um, as for now, I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And just thank you for watching. I'm going to sleep.